not used to public speaking, so I'll try and keep this brief despite the page of notes. Um, there are many people to thank, of course, and I try, I'll try not to bore you with who they are. But I will start by thanking Greg Punch, a member of the choir, who two years ago made a very short radio piece, about 20 minutes in length, which described from a participant's point of view what it was like to go to Wagga Wagga and compete in the National Choir Championships. To be asked to change your name, the Gay and Lesbian Choir wasn't acceptable. They refused to do that, fortunately, and they went on and they won. When I heard that piece, I realised that there was a film, literally, pardon the pun, screaming to be filmed. Um, so I started to work with them, together with my producer, Marguerite Gray, and it's been a very long, hard road, with very little money along the way. Um, and for that, I have to also thank my crew members, most of whom work for no pay, deferred fees, just in the faith that this film will get finished, and indeed it did. Um, the only exception I will make is there are so many people, I can't thank them all, but I would like to thank my editor, Gary Hilberg. And for those of you who have seen the film, I think you will agree he's done a fantastic job in a very short time. Um, there's one other group of people who deserve thanks. Um, thanks for their humour, their goodwill, their commitment, and their fantastic singing, which you've now heard, fortunately. And that is, of course, the Sydney Gay and Lesbian Choir. Uh, it's not easy to act naturally when you've got a camera stuck in your face a director telling you that you can't look at it and you're trying to hit top, hop, top C or you're trying to chat about Tina in the back row. Uh, they managed to do that and for that I'm, I'm eternally grateful. I think they're terrific ambassadors for the gay and lesbian community and I've come to love them very much. Um, the film was broadcast nationally by the ABC in March and I've lost count of the stories I've heard of families mothers, fathers and children have reconciled as a result of seeing this film. It's really a tremendous reward for me and um, I'm grateful for the choir for their warmth and their humanity because without that, that wouldn't be possible.